guys and welcome back again to our youtube channel welcome back to house of ella tv if you're new here you're welcome please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell beside you so you always get notified anytime that i post my videos and to my returning subscribers you guys are amazing thank you for coming back again and again in today's video i will be shattering this table that has been here for a very long time i'm going to be talking about a very crucial topic is it right or wrong for a woman in her 30s in her 35 in her 40s to be the one to make the first move just maybe the man is not saying something serious and you guys have been dating for a very long time so if that sounds like your kind of thing subscribe stay glued as welcome back to this video now the question is is it right or wrong if you have been in a relationship with this guy and he's not saying anything one year is gone two years gone five years is gone six years seven then to some of us 13 and nothing is coming out is it proper for you to be the one to make the move now i'm going to be talking about this thing in two different perspectives one as a christian like i always do and then secondly i'm going to talk about it socially now being a christian i'm going to say that it is wrong for you to make the first move as a woman why because from the beginning it was not so from the beginning god did not make it to be so from the beginning it never happened so if you do it just know that you are the only one doing that kind of thing and then secondly is a sign of desperation like some men will tag it but then the thing is let me break it down for you from the bible um, aspect of it now when god created adam god put adam in charge of the garden of eden where there were animals there were plants for him to take care of that means god sent adam to work now when it was time for him to create eve he saw that man was just being lonely in the garden just with the animals god needed to make someone that would be a help meet for the man and then god needed to make someone that look more like the man not like the animals but someone that have a human um um nature and will assist the man in the work he's doing god did not create eve where adam was already god went to a separate place and molded eve with the rip he has taken from adam i don't know if you're understanding now when that happened when he took that rip and went to create eve when he finished creating eve adam was still busy with his work don't forget and then when god finished creating eve he brought eve to adam now when adam saw eve from afar he was like his body was that's why when i when i see women who get freaked out when they have been proposed to it affects me that's that's the thing why are you doing like this why are you crying some of them will as, go as far as running away from the proposal scene why do you do all of that now it was the man who was so flabbergasted let me use that word it was the man who was so surprised he, he saw a very beautiful creature coming towards him and of course because the woman was coming with god adam already knew it was for him because it wasn't for the animals adam already had this thing in him telling him that oh my goodness so this beautiful creature is going to be my partner and go brought it from that place of formation to her place of assignment you see it wasn't eve that just went god took eve and then when adam saw eve adam came to meet eve and god do you understand the narration now the lesson from that scripture is that it's also in accordance to the word of god that says when a man finded a wife he finded a good thing and he obtains favor from god that's the word of god right now god did not say when a woman finds he said when a man finds he said he that findeth a wife and then because the woman is always the one to be the wife apart from people who marry themselves who, the same sex marrying themselves the woman is always the one to be found as a wife and then the man that finds her find it a good thing and obtains favor from god do you get the both illustrations that means a woman has to be found a woman has to be sought after a woman has to be come for 
like you should not do turn things around and be the one going for each time i see people going for it makes it, it gets to my head like these people are just turning the bible upside down and trying to be faster than god who made it this way okay and i think after watching this video you should get the illustration clearly in your mind and then advise people around you now when adam just saw god coming with this very beautiful woman adam started walking towards god's direction you know to embrace who god has brought for him it wasn't eve that ran to go and meet do you get the illustration i don't know if you get it now eve did not run to go and meet adam even though she knew that she was made for someone she had to wait walk hand in hand with god and that's why when people are getting wedded it's always the father of the woman the bride that takes her in the hand walk down the eyes to the altar and then hand her over to the man who is going to be her husband you see that is the reason why i say it's totally wrong for you as the woman to be the one running to go and be faster than your shadow now someone is going to ask me what about in situations where you have spent years and nothing is coming up then allow it allow it that's my own allow it because someone who wants you dearly just the way adam desired for eve will not waste time adam did not waste time he must have been doing something in the garden but then the moment he saw that god is coming with what he wants what he desires he ran to go and embrace what god was bringing for him do you understand so that moment when you as a woman turn the thing upside down and then decide to go faster than your shadow you mess things up I don't blame the men who say it's a sign of desperation. Please do not make yourself appear desperate or make yourself appear to be under any form of pressure by running after these people. Just relax. There's something I usually tell people around me. There is a man for every woman and there is a woman for every man. So when you want to be faster than your shadow, you could just be messing things up, okay? So that's the reason why you need to calm down and allow yourself to be found. Okay, eventually you have been found and he's not saying something that you want to hear allow it <laughs> seriously speaking allow it so you can only have a conversation of where are we headed which i talked about in my other video understanding the purpose for whatever situation you find yourself ask questions where are we headed now if you have asked these questions where are we headed and you were given a favorable answer then you can wait but then if it doesn't make sense to you of what use are you waiting for i mean you have asked several what where are we headed and there is no favorable answer nothing is coming up then you have to make a move okay you have to make a move so you don't end up wasting your entire life waiting for the wrong person or doing the wrong things with the wrong person okay that's the reason why i said you as a woman should not be the one to say oh yeah oh, i want us to get married it's never done now that is from the bible passage and my Bible perspective talking culturally or religiously um, the African culture as a whole have already made the woman to understand that it is not her thing to push it is not her thing to be in the forefront it is not the woman thing to be the one to say will you marry it's never done I mean it's never done culturally if you do it I don't know if, if you are ever going to earn enough respect in that particular home because even the whole of the groom's family members are going to see it as desperation. So you wouldn't want to be in a home where they would always go after all. Now you find us come. Did we come for you? You wouldn't want to experience all of that. So that's the reason why you need to lie low and observe things. But before you lie low and wait for ages and and become ancient of days in that um in that waiting situation, you have to understand the purpose for what you are doing with such person don't go and say because you watched my video and i said don't ask don't propose you sh i only said don't propose i didn't say you shouldn't ask questions i've always taught you that you should ask questions and know your stand in someone's life so you don't end up wasting your entire life waiting for something that might never happen okay so that being said i refuse to accept that it's a woman thing to propose i mean it happens in the western culture but in the african culture where i come from it's not it's not allowed it's not right um someone is going to say if a woman does is she going to die she will not die but of course we're going to look at her like <laughs> somehow 
<laughs> We're gonna look at her like, hmm, what kind of desperation is that? I mean, it's just not looking normal. So that's the reason why I said just relax, calm down. And then if you are calming that down and you're seeing that it's no, 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 it's not making sense anymore to you, then you have to just call it off and move on with your life. But then it is wrong for you as the woman to be desperate and be the one to propose so many women go as far as saying hey i'll bring the money for you to go and do the the rights i'll bring the money for you to go and do the right that's a sign of desperation you know so i wouldn't want you to be caught up in that atmosphere of desperation that's why you need to pray hard before you wait and then ask questions early enough that being said i hands up we have come to the end of this video if you haven't subscribed at this point kindly subscribe and then give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative educative or entertaining and don't forget to drop your comment let me know what you think do you think it's right do you think it doesn't matter who proposes do you think what do you think let me know at the comment section down below till i come your way in another video stay safe stay happy i love you